yes hello guys welcome back to the channel and today we are going to uh, learn about an important uh, topic in power bi i think that is one of the connectivity mode in power bi so one is import and other is direct query if you watch my earlier videos uh, i have made a video uh, i have made a video about import mode connectivity in power bi with uh, sql server and excel but while coming to direct query in power bi so you are going to only connect with the uh, sql server so you are not using uh, anywhere with uh, excel or csv files while coming with direct query make sure to remember with the uh, uh, sql server or other any databases only you are going to connect with direct query why because it is directly the name itself is saying that direct query means it is directly connected to the source in the import mode we are not directly connecting we are uh, loading a copy into our power bi desktop nothing but in webpack engine we are loading a copy into webpack engine and then uh, the, the, the data gets refreshes and then we are uh, visualizing the data and we are doing some dax calculations or whatever it may be and we are applying some of the calculations so this is the process we are coming to direct query it is not it is different guys it's not loading into webpack engine it is going it is connecting with the connecting directly with the direct, uh, data source and then uh, the query query gets processing or dax calculation what it may be depends upon the a requirement but mainly just remember that direct query is nothing but which is directly connected to the source let's get into the features of direct query guys okay and uh, yes so direct query features in power bi connect directly with the source or database instead of loading the copy of data into memory so just now i have told right so it is directly connected to the source instead of loading the copy of data into memory while coming to import it's loading the copy Direct, uh, direct query just connect to the source okay no data size restriction you can load unlimited data yes guys why because uh, while coming to import mode there is a restriction about um, uh, uh, like pro uh, pro license or premium license but while coming to here there is no uh, restriction about a pro or premium what it may be your reason there is no size restriction why because it since it is loading connecting directly with data source not uh, loading a copy into pet package and uh, takes more time to load the visual since it is connected to data source directly obviously right so uh, since it is directly connected to data source it takes more time why because uh, it depends upon your uh, database uh, i mean database uh, load and uh, uh, number of users connected to your database so obviously performance deficits compulsory and limited dax and power query features absolutely right so while coming to uh, uh, import mode there there are no uh, uh, dax and uh, power query features i mean there are no limitations on dax and power query features while coming to um, uh, direct query there are uh, limited limitations are there for dax and power query features you can't able to uh, use all the features uh, in uh, power query and dax well connected with to uh, direct query so I will, I will show you in the demo also uh, data type in power bi desktop is not there since it's load only metadata and power bi desktop exactly guys so while coming to a direct query right uh, you there is there will there will be no data type present in the uh, power bi desktop when you connect with direct query i will show in demo that also and uh, no need to refresh the data explicitly so welcome in that is the specialty of uh, uh, direct query why because you are directly connected with the data source no need to refresh again and again to reflect the data in power bi service okay so without any late uh, let's uh, get into the uh, demo so i am opening power bi desktop guys okay so that you will get a clear idea yeah <laughs> yes guys i'm just cancelling so this is a uh, blank power bi desktop guys okay so whenever you open the power bi desktop this is the default view which you are going to see okay so now in order to connect with the um, direct query so just click on sql server okay and here when you click on sql server the two options will be connected com coming uh, data connectivity mode import and direct query you, here we are using direct query just click on direct query and here server i'm using local server that's why i'm clicking on here dot okay so and just click on okay so whenever you click on dot automatically it will connect with your local server when you are uh, so that's what the video is intention is uh, intention is with the on premises connecting di direct query with on premise on premise nothing but local so here i am using um, school uh, database okay here you use school database i am using student master table okay so here i am loading 
my table into power bi desktop but make sure here the data tab will not be visible whenever the table gets loaded into power bi desktop that's it see here see if you see here the data uh, tab get disappeared why because so it is since it is direct query the data will not be shown here only metadata will be shown here see this is the uh, table guys these are the columns so only metadata will be shown here if you click on here uh, i am selecting a table okay if you click on uh, oh let's see side this should not be count okay student id or phone numbers or mobile number this should not be count i am clicking on don't summarize okay so if you select here uh, student id and uh, student name okay see if you see here right it is taking time to load that's what the direct query is means okay why because it is connecting with the uh, data source if you want to see how it will happen right i will show you again demo again i'm deleting here okay so guys is very important click on view here you can see a performance analyzer so in real time we are going to uh, work on this kind of things only okay uh, just uh, click on uh, uh, start recording okay so here nothing but you will see how the uh, internal process will happening okay so just click on table okay so here i am selecting table and here the time taken is 11 milliseconds i am here i am selecting here sid and student name okay and type okay so what it may be okay so if you see here uh, the time taken to load this table uh, uh, and uh, entire data is 441 milliseconds so if you want to see the behind the process it will happen the dax query is 18 uh, 18 milliseconds but while coming to here uh, copy query let me copy the query okay direct query is 7 milliseconds uh, let me copy the query i will open to notepad if you paste here so there the uh, see if you see here the direct query happened nothing but this is the direct query this is we can we, we uh, connected with the sql server so that's why the table uh, sql queries are generated this is the query to connect the database and this is the query to retrieve the data from a data source and present the data so that's what it what happened in the back end so that's why direct query will take time to load the data i mean get the data and show you the results okay so this is the thing guys you should aware of one thing also and other thing is uh, yes where we are yes let me open this okay so that other thing is i will publish this thing in uh, uh, power bi service then we will check that uh, uh, how to establish uh, this on premise uh, direct query uh, data source with the uh, power bi gateway okay so i will show you in the demo right now right away okay so this is the one thing guys okay so now i am going to save this one first i need to save this okay so where i am saving i would like to save here here and okay no problem um direct query okay direct query school okay school direct query demo let me save here school direct query demo okay save so here I'm, uh, I saved my Power BI file with uh, school direct query demo. Now I am going to publish this visible into Power BI service. Okay, how to publish? Click on home. Here publish option is there. So make sure that you should have a valid Power BI account in order to publish into Power BI service. Okay, I'm just clicking on publish. Okay. So automatically it will open for my workspace. So I am setting my default my workspace only. So so now the it is processing to publish my power bi desktop file the local ppx file into power bi service nothing but cloud so that's why you should aware of cloud concepts also okay now i am going to uh, open this file okay open power bi school there you go but it will throw an error that's why there is no gateway to access the data source school that's what is saying since it is a on premise uh, uh, sql server on premise local server what it is saying right uh, uh, there is no gateway to access the data source so i couldn't able to display the data here why because uh, simply why because uh, it is uh, the dot pbx file is uh, creating a data set here data um, set here nothing but we are that is an empty one why because since it is having no data data is resulting in data source that's why we need to establish a connection with the, our uh, uh, local uh, on-premise uh, sql server with here gateway then only we can able to get the data we can we can view the data here okay so for that one we need to click on here show details and just click on here settings page okay 
so automatically it will show our resources okay nothing but workspaces just click on that workspaces this is my workspace workspace nothing but for timing just remember it is a container where we can post all our reports and data sets okay so which is the data set we have used And the data set which we are uses here is uh, okay guys so uh, this set here what happened school okay school direct query demo so this is the data set okay so what it is saying we need to manage the gateway connection we need to establish this gateway this uh, local uh, API, local uh, SQL server with the um, gateway okay so that's what we are going to do if you see here uh, i'm just uh, trying to scroll down gateway connection this is what it is saying but gateway is there but not configured properly just click on here okay so this is what that this is the database it's showing okay this is the database and this is a school okay this you are saying add to gateway that's it so new data source has been created automatically it's taking time to load guys okay new data set i will share here i will change here in order to understand school direct query okay not understand okay it's a local one since that is same basic okay here we need to give the credentials for our username and password i'm username is here i mean my sql server okay and password i'm giving here okay password okay. and here i'm trying to save okay add okay sorry you want to see here uh, again come to uh, data gateway connection sorry gateway connection yes sir. so it is saying that running successfully but here other thing is we need to map here guys okay uh, we need to map we need to map the database to which one school data, uh, direct query i mean uh, the thing is that uh, the new data source which we have created right now right so we need to map that one apply so yes it's updated so now we can able to see the uh, data uh, report which you have published I mean which report just now you have published it now you can able to see again go to workspace and if you click on here filters you can see a uh, report okay the thing is that school okay so this is the report in right now you can able to see absolutely can able to see that's what the that's what we did right now we just now we we established a connection and we configured our local uh, power pi i mean local sql server with this gateway connection that's why yes this is what right we have published if you want the proof means i will show you again so if you want proof means yes there you go this is what right you, we have published here okay this is what only right we published here the same this is the power bi service and this is power bi desktop so if you want the proof means we will change it right now here and we will uh, do some uh, sql operations so then you can able to understand okay so i will go to here uh, my sql server management studio so already i connected with the, uh, the school database okay so i am going to guys nothing but i am going to insert the new data okay insert into uh, student ma master table uh, values okay so the thing is that i am going to add uh, sid 9 and student name is uh, okay mark okay mark just remember the student name mark okay and origin is time I think L. L and type G okay just remember that this value is mark okay execute so one row has been successfully insert into this table okay now we need to where we are we need to show the same thing in power bi service that's what i write guys so if you see here i'm just now i'm not refreshing anywhere in the data set i'm just refreshing the my uh, simply power bi service uh, uh, url so now automatically when i refresh here automatically you can see here mark record that's what the power of power bi uh, direct query that's what the power of power bi direct query when you connect with uh, data source direct query data source okay if you see here the mark record will able to see here that's what which it will be refreshing yeah can you able to see here mark 
So welcome to import mode, you need to refresh uh, two times. You need to refresh the uh, data set and you need to refresh this uh, report also. While coming to here, I am just refreshing the report here. Now I can able to see the marked record. Okay. Just again, I will delete here marked record so that you will get a clear idea. Okay. Again, delete student master where ID check equal to nine. This is the ID, let's check where SID that's for that SID column name. Okay, so here I am uh, deleting that uh, marked record. Okay, so the marked record will be disappeared. Okay, one row is updated now. Again, I will go to here Power BS service. Okay, so if you see here, the marked record will be disappeared when I refresh here. Okay, I am just refreshing the report, I'm not refreshing a data set that just understand the difference. Okay, see, there you go. Uh, now the Mar record is disappeared. That's for that's the importance of a, uh, Power BI Direct Query. So you know you no need to refresh again again. Just refresh the report enough. No need to refresh the data set. Okay.